Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Tom Shives. And I'm Tracy McCray. Tracy, when we hear the word melanoma, we think skin cancer. Melanoma, in fact, is a type of cancer that develops in the cells that produce melanin, the pigment, pigment that gives your skin its color. Now, you, what you may not know is that your eyes also have melanin-producing cells, and you can get melanoma of the eye. It's a rare disease, but there's an organization that's trying to help. That's right. Founded in 2011, Cure OM, which stands for the Community United for Research and Education of Ocular Melanoma, is an initiative by the Melanoma Research Foundation to raise awareness and increase research funding for ocular melanoma. Joining us on the phone to discuss ocular melanoma is the director of Cure OM, Dr. Sarah Selig. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Selig. Thank you for having me. Yes, yeah, Sarah, Dr. Selig. Um, you're in Boston. Yes, I'm based in Boston. At Brigham and Women's. Yes. And is it, do you work there? Normally work there? I do. I work at Brigham and Women's Hospital, although um, my clinical expertise is not ocular melanoma. All right, so not melanoma of the eye. So how did you get interested? Uh, what led you to become a researcher and a p- proponent of learning more about ocular melanoma? Well, I think I I got involved in a way that I think most people would rather not get involved, um, which um, was with the diagnosis of my husband, Greg, um, when I was a fourth-year medical student and had heard of melanoma, but at that point had certainly not heard um, that you could get melanoma uh, in your eye. And so I first learned about that sitting in the exam room with Greg and the ophthalmologist who diagnosed him, um, it was not in the classroom or in my medical training for me. Wow, that must have been a tough day. It was a very tough day, and I remember almost every detail of it as if it was yesterday, and it was 11 years ago. So uh, did, did he have symptoms? I mean, uh, why did you end up going to the physician? He did have symptoms. Um, he was... Um, seen some wavy lines um, in his peripheral vision when he went out on um, some runs in the morning. Um, And as a fourth-year medical student, as um, you know, I had just enough information um, to not know what I was talking Mm -hmm. about. And, you know, I thought maybe it was an ocular migraine. I thought maybe it was sort of um, caffeine rebound um, symptoms uh, related to headache. Um, And I sort of wrote it off. as I did with any family member who had a symptom because you just, in the medical profession, at least for me, my reaction has been I just I don't want them to be sick, so I didn't want to think it could be anything more. But Greg, knowing his body, decided to um, have, he had never had an eye exam before. He was 34 years old um, and went uh, for his first ophthalmology appointment, and they noticed um, that he had a small retinal detachment um, and referred him to um, someone else who, who specializes in, in eye tumors. And that person told us that the small retinal detachment was causing the wavy lines he was experiencing, and the small retinal detachment was being caused by a growth on the back of his eye. Mm-hmm. Um, and they later called that growth a tumor. But I think one of the things I learned so much from the physician who diagnosed Greg, who I, I really admire, um, He didn't call it a tumor right away, which kept us being able to listen um, a little longer because then when we heard tumor, we sort of shut down. What did, uh, did, how did they find this? I mean, did they look at, how did they look at the eye? So this was through a dilated eye exam. Um, His tumor was um, in the back part of the eye, in the uvea. Um, He had a choroidal melanoma, which is the most common type of um, uveal melanoma. but not the only only kind, but um, it is through a dilated eye exam. Um, and so it, it has a particular appearance, um, and it was really through that exam and an ultrasound um, that he received the diagnosis. And when they said uh, tumor, did they know it was a melanoma, or did, did he have to have a biopsy? They knew it was a melanoma. Hmm. Because it was, I, I assume, dark or pigmented or black? Right. I think there's there's kind of a list. I don't have them in front of me right now, but there are a list of, of um, you know, diagnostic criteria. Okay. And um, biopsies, interestingly, um, have been controversial in the OM space, um, but are used now to get material um, 
uh, genetic material for prognostication rather than for diagnosis. So what about, so tre- what, what about treatment? What did, they, what did you do about it? So Greg was treated um, in Philadelphia. He was diagnosed in Denver where we were living, and he was treated in Philadelphia with a radioactive plaque that was inserted um, uh, sewn around the tumor in his eye and left on for several days while he was in the hospital at Will's Eye Hospital. Was the treatment successful? The primary tumor treatment was successful in that um, they felt, you know, that tumor was dead and, um, and he did not have any additional regrowth over the years. So I would say that the primary treatment um, was successful. Greg developed metastatic disease in his liver one year oh later. Oh, my gosh. So successful, I think, can have a couple of different uh, meanings. And, and once it spread uh, there at that time, and, and even now, not very good at treatment for melanoma that's metastatic, that's spread elsewhere. Yes. Um, and, and much of the, adva- the amazing advances that have happened in cutaneous melanoma, unfortunately, have not had the same impact on uveal melanoma. So when Greg was diagnosed with liver metastasis one year, um, almost to the day from his original diagnosis, um, so he was 35 at the time, I was 30, um, and we were told he had six months to live. Wow. You know, our sympathies truly are, are, are with you. And we got so wrapped up in the story, we almost forgot to talk about uh, Cure OM. So tell us about Cure OM. Well, Cure OM is um, an initiative that Greg and I founded really because through our experience, um, it was hard to, to find education and support about the disease. And we realized that there was not a lot of collaboration um, in the scientific community, not a lot of support for research um, in the scientific com- community, and we really wanted to um, provide support and education for, for patients, and we really wanted to galvanize um, research in this disease and to, to impact, you know, to find effective treatments and ultimately a cure. And by the time we founded Cure OM, we knew Greg wasn't going to make it. Mm. But I think for us, if we could take the challenges that we have experienced and turn that into hope for other families that they wouldn't have to go through the devastation that we've lived through, um, then it's, it's just been worth it for us to be able to help others through, through our challenges. And then I think something good will have come out of, of all that we've been through. We have about 60 seconds left to go. Can you tell us more about the registry that you're developing Yes, um, with a rare disease um, like uveal melanoma, with about 2,000 or so cases diagnosed each year in the United States, um, we are learning from other advocacy organizations and just really the state-of-the-art research that pulling together a registry, a patient-powered, patient-reported registry, um, is really the way we need to go so that we can get a much deeper, broader understanding of this disease and really get patients actively involved in the research process. And I think through this initiative, our hope is that we will make a big dent in this disease. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Sarah Selig. Uh, Our sympathies and condolences regarding your uh, husband. It uh, obviously was a tough time in your life, but you're doing good for other people who may uh, may develop this rare disease, ocular melanoma. Well, thank you so much for having me on and for your kindness and for helping to raise awareness about ocular melanoma. We're really grateful to you. You bet. Dr. Sarah Selig, Director of Cure OM, Community United for Research and Education of Ocular Melanoma. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you.